Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ancipov, and in this video I am going to show how to add segments into your mobile application. But before I want to show you what segments is. I think that everybody of you saw uh, App Store with such a nice button, paid, free and so on. And now we will add the same buttons into your application. Create new. And now let's add segments plugin. Plugin has one screen. With two segments button, let's change routing and test. Application is ready. Now let's remove frame. And on the screen of iPhone it will look like this. So there are two segments button call and favorite and two cards element which are shown depends on what button is selected so right now is call button selected now let's press favorite and we see corresponding card and let's do the same for call now let's take a look how this application work we add HTML component and specify type of container as ion segment Please pay attention that uh, this HTML component should be inside of toolbar component and segment component has two segments button. Again, it is a HTML component, but in this case type of container is ion segment button. Value of this component is a value of a segment variable. So it means when we will press call or favorite button the segments variable will be equal in this case will be equal call and in case of pressing on favorite will be equal favorite on the code we can see segments variable and uh, last we show and hide card element depends on value of uh, segment variable so in this case we show this card if segments equals call and this card in case of segment equals favorite. It is acceptable for simple uh, screens to locate all your elements on one screen but let's imagine that uh, your segment is rather complicated with a lot of uh, UI elements and with custom logic on every segment. So in this case I suggest you to create a custom elements. So let's do it. Create call custom component and let's set some some text just for testing and create one more custom component favorite custom component also with text now let's go here it two of our elements here and provide the same logic which we used for card elements so select call custom element and g if with value segment equals call and the same for favorite then let's remove our card element And test application again. Application is ready. Call is selected. Now let's press favorite. So as you see everything works properly. That is all what I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching.